Hello everybody. I hope that you're having a fantastic week because I am. For those who don't know me, my name is Douglas. I am a colorist based in Paris and I work on a variety of different projects ranging from commercials, music videos and longer form. Today we're going to talk about how to achieve the fantastic Aces look in DaVinci Resolve. Why would we want to emulate that look? Well, because when you slap a lot on your footage, for example, or a color space transform to display 709, for example, there is already some preferential characteristics uh, that you put in place. And the ACES transform has a different look that you might prefer depending on what you're trying to achieve in your grading. So today I'm going to show you how to get that look in two simple steps in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in. All right, so welcome into DaVinci Resolve. And my image right now is in DaVinci or Gamut DaVinci Intermediate. And just to give us a reference point, I'm going to transform from DaVinci to Rec 709 with a color space transform. And you'll see that we'll use that as a comparison image. Um, so let's grab a still of that. Okay, and uh, let's call this DaVinci uh, 709. Okay. All right, now I'm going to reset my color space transform and transform from DaVinci Y gamut DaVinci Intermediate, which is again, what my images state is into right now. And I'm going to transform into ACES AP1 and ACES CCT, which is the color space of what you're supposed to grade into when you're grading in an ACES pipeline. Uh, no tone mapping, no gamut mapping, but I'm going to check the white point adaptation because the white point of DaVinci white gamut is different than um, the ACES AP11. So I just want to uh, adapt to that correctly. Now I'm going to create another node and I'm going to drop an ACES transform, which you can find again in your OFX. Boom. And then I'm going to go from ACES CCT as an input and as an output transform, I'm going to select 709. And I'm also going to check reference gamut compress. Right. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm just going to call this node CCT. Um, sorry, ACES 709. Yeah. And now I'm going to compare to the DaVinci one. So that's the DaVinci. That's ACES. DaVinci, ACES. So we see we've got more contrast out of the gate and there's also a little bit more of a filmy rendering uh, which you might prefer depending on what kind of project you're working on and let me show you why i ticked that gamut compress option and for that i'm going to move to a different image let's move to these cop lights and look at what happens if i set up my gamut compress to none see my light here is breaking and that's because we're going from aces ap1 to rec 709 and aces ap1 is a bigger larger color space than rec 709 so we need to compress somehow the gamut in order to make it work for us so uh, that's why i recommend to tick that checkbox here uh, otherwise you're going to run into some problems and there you go. I mean, that's a really pleasing and filmy rendering that you might want to work under when working on some uh, specific projects because that might get you closer right out the gate. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like, comment down below. Let me know if you have future topics that you want me to cover. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come and say hi on Instagram and take care. I'll just see you in the next one. Bye.